Hello, hello, hello. So, happy Ram Mandir Day. I don't know what it feels like or what it should feel like, but happy Ram Mandir to all. And today's topic is predictable reality. We, I'm not going to take much of your time, just 30 minutes or less than that. So let's uh, talk on the topic that we've kind of opened up for ourselves. What do you get? What is a predictable reality? And it, this is going to be a weekly once. So I'm not fixing the time, but Monday it could be, we'll play with it. So uh, predictable realities can, do, did you know predictable, predictable realities can change? Just in case you were not told that, can you just run and create it now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it does because see, every 10 seconds your life is changing and you how are you making it significant that you're making it a constant state? Like, you know, you get an awareness and then you come into the conclusion of things. How silly. Yeah. Yeah. So how many of you realize that you're trying to cut off that awareness in order to have a predictable life? You are aware. And then in order to suppose you something happened in the past, okay? And mm. you're now carrying it in the now. Now you're like, you probably come to a conclusion, all men are bastards. Sorry, if there is a man, I mean, there are men, but what if they are not? That that reality mm. was given to me my, by my dad. Okay, men are like this, men, men, men. Okay. And I'm like, okay, fine, then what do, What choice do we have? You want me to marry and you're saying that men are like this? How, I mean, how, how am I supposed to make sense of that, right? Yeah. And... Uh, so an astrologer comes and tells you things and you're like, okay, cool. This is how it's going to be. So either you get scared or you get very happy. In either cases, mm -hmm. you're still going to get fucked in some, some reality or not. So, yeah, I mean, so the question here is since you brought up this thing about people and you have an awareness about a person, mm -hmm. okay, like say, okay, I wonder why is this showing up. But let's say we are aware that a particular person has a lot of uh, walk in or so, and the person doesn't know, okay. So, person is not like an access person or something who knows okay. about this, and because of which, there's a lot of activity around you. <clears throat> now, you get that awareness. Now, is that can are you saying that because we are See, holding all on these, to that point? I am of view, simply, no, I'm simply saying, had you because you have got so much of awareness, knowledge, and all, and you, you start judging other people be even more. How is that creating a different reality? Huh. A, earlier, no, not... earlier you were not... <clears throat> yeah, so if hmm. the person has walk-ins and is not choosing to let go of their walk-ins or entities, yeah. how does that yeah. make them wrong? It's a choice, Correct. right? Not, uh, right. No, so not make them could... wrong, but I think yeah. you're saying that we are... It's probably because we are... I don't want to be say, the oh, effect person... of that, no? That's what you're coming huh. to. I don't want to be the effect of that. What if uh... you... Huh. No, not effect, but just from the size of, okay, how many more, like, you know, how many are going to keep coming in? Kind of no, what thing. if they are, and what if it's a bottomless pit? I And they, it's okay. their choice who, who is creating their life. You have to see yeah. what works for you. And if it is not, then to make a different choice or be in allowance mm. of it that, you know, this person is like this only. You, mm. Have you seen an, animals who walk and they shit to, at the same time? Yeah. They are like that only. Huh? They like their shit and they're walking and shitting. <laughs> they have no point of view about it. Correct. Yeah. Okay. What? What you? What if you can appreciate? I can't. I can't walk and shit, man. I need a pot. I can't even shit mm. when. When you know, I'd rather hold on to my shit. When the car stops, mm. is then I will get off, and I will not mm. shit in a uh, open field because people will get to see me. What? Mm. Really? Are you kidding? <laughs> Animals don't have that point of view, right? Yeah. When people don't have a point of view about their walk-ins or entities or stuff. Where is it hmm. that you, you've decided that you have to have a point of view about that and about this? Got, Got it. Yeah. So even, yeah. Okay. So I get it. You're holding on so to that awareness. What happens is we are changing and then we change hmm. and then we get a new set of judgments. Hmm. Ah, okay. And where are we getting these set of judgments? Because now you've suddenly expanded and become so aware that hmm. you are now able to perceive more judgments of other people in the universe and you mm. think they are yours and you you become more judgmental. And then uh -huh. because you've done so many classes, you will say, I'm not judgmental. But that, mm. that too is a judgment, by the way. So now, right. um, yeah. okay, most of us who have been brought up in middle class <coughs> families, um, yeah. there's a very uh, secure way of upbringing that we have been uh, uh, presented with, right? 
so what will happen is because uh, from the chaos that is going on what do you uh, take is you take a piece you take a piece you put them together and and you create something that makes sense right hmm but that's a gift for very few people and they get very few people get it for most of us who like we grown up in mid- middle class families it's all about keeping everything secure have you seen yeah. that yeah we, yeah totally we yeah mm-hmm. so it's all about security in order to maintain yeah, that security uh, please um, mm-hmm. mute yourself people that would okay. be nice mute yourself people okay so so that's a you know so when you grow up in a middle class family if everything is about that security that we're talking about right and to have that security you need everything predictable and rigidly solidly organized otherwise anything going out of that you wouldn't know how to handle it so we in in middle class families also um we try to give the child a sense of security and predictability thinking that is a great way to teach our kids really but that is is that so because sometimes or mostly i should say unpredictability is actually the greatest gift you can give your children because in that lack of predictable reality they will learn to create out of something that okay fine now now what what can i choose what can i create where can i go yeah rather than saying oh this was not supposed to be now i can't create now i'm doomed so if you are willing to make a lot of money you have to choose to be um in a space of that unpredictability so how many of you are defending your secured upbringing that you have no that you don't allow yourself to have so much money and have ease with money and all the electromagnetics of that will you let that go now So everything that is sent to God, we just try and create it all, right? Wrong, good, bad, perfect, line, short, boys, bad, new. So what if you didn't? You were not here to make a your future solid, or uh, make a solid future, but don't make your future solid. Everything that is, yeah, make a make a different kind of a reality, but don't make it solid, solid. what if what if you could create a possible future not a probable future because if you are willing to have a probable future oh this is maybe this is possible maybe that maybe but that's a probability right which means you will have to look into the past and create a reference point of it and then you will be able to create something out of it what if you did not require any kind of reference points what would that look like anyone and so before anyone can judge you you end up judging yourself that no and that's the predictable reality that you would like to live in a predictable reality is oh you can't be alone right it's not easy to live alone live a life of uh, alone so you'd rather have someone right that's a predictable reality and now that you have someone you should have a kid also yeah so my ma so much to unlearn because if you are not here to un- see the point is we've been sent to schools which are torture hells called schools right when since it's since childhood when then we've been programmed it's not just parental programming or as a society or family we've been programmed to think in a certain way and then we end up judging those who are who are less privileged to get into a school but they, you know sometimes they're probably better off they know okay where to do what to do and all and then just living their life and we having so much and we're like now what the fuck do i do i don't know what to do with it yes vandana so i wanted to check uh, supposing one has a meeting coming up an important meeting and one has already done some you know we start computing this will happen that will happen this is what i'm going to say in the meeting and this is i'm going to, is that also creating a predictable reality it is a predictable reality because you are like you know you you want want to tell yourself this is how probably it's going to go because i've done this much and if it doesn't then obviously projections expectations separations rejections and judgments and then you make it significant and you're like i don't want to do this anymore if this is not work i did everything it didn't work but you're looking 
how many of you you ride your bike or you ride your car looking behind do you, do you drive like this no you cannot you have to go forward right so you have to look ahead you no. can only take take in inputs from whatever the past has happened but everywhere you looking into your past you really creating no future so if you're cre doing creative visualization and you're not trying to uh, sort of are you creating the a visualization is also a very is a limitation because you can visualize only what you've seen what you've not seen you cannot visualize so you're actually working functioning from that point of view that oh this thing no yet yeah, this thing yes or whatever right this is okay and this is not okay as if universe is going to do it as uh, you know the way you are asking it to no universe will always give you what it thinks i mean how universe doesn't think but it will offer you what it has to offer you what do you enjoy about a predictable reality which is literally creating no reality right okay how many of you have seen that you had a boyfriend and he was not good and then you create another one who turns out to be better than the previous one but only slightly better than the previous one and he's like i thought this was a different person i changed myself i worked on myself and it still did not change now that's that's somewhat little predictability that you want in a person because that's familiarity also by the way uh i have a question yeah sure so right now in my job situation i think i manifest this job like in a way somehow and then like everything was okay but then the one thing that i don't have is security in this job because this is a new school so the owner is extending it month on month so i'm like i thought i shifted all the way from jakarta to bali to like you know i get 3 months probation then i have a settled job apparently that's not the case and all this while um the owner didn't say anything and then the other day he was she was like can i see your cv again because i was not the one who hired you and i'm like am i manifesting destruction from this place you know what i mean like because and i don't what think if what if this job was only to get you from jakarta to bali and what if you can just have something else something more ease and more kindness to you what if you did not have to make it significant that oh did i shift to from jakarta to bali only for this job which is not going to last yeah it's okay right sometimes you know what priyanka a lot of times we create classes for some people who would ask for it and they will be the ones who will actually disappear and never show up and they will they just gotten us to a point oh, i need this class and they are the ones who gone and they'll be absolutely brand new people who showing up for the class so if i could relate it in a class reality what if you could be mama saying how nice to be able to live in bali oh my god yeah, yeah so imagine i want to live in bali and then, and then now i'm not sure if i can continue living here because this job is not stable and i'm like and what if you could find another job is that the only job that you could ever create in an in a city like bali or would you would you just start looking out and it just the whole idea was you still have a job you've gotten up you you wanted to stay in bali you've shifted to bali now what else is possible yeah rather than making that thing significant that only this job or nothing else that becomes uh, a predictable way of looking at things yeah so i think i created that predictability and like this what is what is now you could search for a job which could be more fun this job got you to this city create you you're a mm -hmm. creator congratulate yourself on that that you created this reality with bali and now hey bali would you want me to be here that's all i keep on saying <laughs> yeah but then who can i talk to who can i meet where can i send my cv what what else is possible rather uh -huh. than making yourself wrong for that yeah i think i have that tendency of like okay now this is getting too good and now i self destruct kind of Wait, like that's you, so, so that will be the topic for next week self sabotage don't okay. worry we're coming up with that next monday yeah Yeah, yeah, we all do that, don't we? We, we as humanized before you going to judge me, I'm going to judge me. Who are you? That's, I don't give. That, yeah, like that's like playing out in my reality right now. I'm like, okay, how do I reverse this? How do I reverse this? <laughs> yeah, what if you didn't have to make it significant, and that's how you reverse this? Thank you, thank you. You've made your job so significant. So, what creation of the wonderfully. not judgments of what you have you should of what you should be judged for are you using to judge you before anyone else can judge you are you choosing 
my strong goodbye papa clan shall boys for then please what if you did not have to buy into anybody else's point of view nor even yours i mean could you stop that and what are you truly capable of creating that you haven't chosen yet and what part of the universe are you not allowing the universe to contribute to you because if you're going to be logically thinking about everything then the universe say universe is like okay do your thinking when you're done let me in i'm waiting for you to stop your fucking mind and then you're like oh okay i'm done universe <clears throat> and that's the time when miracles happen right that's actually what i did in my previous job i was so miserable and i was like okay this can't get any worse than this so i'm just going to like you know maintain my vibration while i'm here like yeah. find the joy in what i do and then like out of nowhere this job like the one that i'm in like suddenly you contacted did, yeah me. right priyanka you so cute okay you're not going to give yourself the credit for creating it out of nowhere and this happened and i'm nobody you know universe is outside of me wow that's so cool and that is why you guys want a predictable reality is that so so that you can blame it it's like yeah because my childhood was bad that is why i have this kind of a present reality or because his childhood was childhood was bad that is why it is impacting me that because he's my uh, partner or whatever what rubbish why would you want to dive into things dive into possibilities with dr dean that is that is cool that is fine you can do that so why would you want to just dive into the misery of how things unfolded when you were a kid and now you are more aware what choices do you have today rather than looking behind so yeah hi sumita your hand is up uh yeah hi i joined late sorry uh i just want to ask you one thing you just said universe has to offer what it has to offer you ha ah. universe will offer it the way it it chooses to i didn't you get cannot, that you cannot dictate the universe how things show up you've asked for okay. something universe has its own way of showing it up not the way you think it's going to show up point to one tumne alag se is all right then how do you, what there is no how kyunki there is no okay ha yeah all right so there universe no has you you are trying to logically ha. define and identify ha. that you know yeah. uh, i will have to mute you just a second you are logically trying to identify and um and figure things out that how universe is going to uh, give it to you no there is no how that's again controlling so i know we all are control freaks but what if you you realize that you cannot control the universe how it shows up what it shows up and you have to let things be and allow things to unfold and show up in it, in in its own course of time or the way it chooses to if you had no judgment of it you would receive it quicker the problem is we have a lot of judgment of everything yes now you can unmute and say because there's a voice in the background that was going, okay you you got it right i mean cool yeah so how many of you are really creating your um, insular universe that you don't want to be hurt and this is because it's so predictable because in relationships you're going to get hurt so you'd rather have walls and barriers and everything around you and not be the infinite being that you truly be so okay would an infinite being get hurt or would an infinite being create walls and barriers no right i mean it's just a quick no and what if you recognize that you're capable of so much more than you think is possible and so if you did not create the separation in your universe uh what if you could allow yourself to re to receive way more and receiving means good bad ugly and everything put together not just the good your predictable reality is because you never okay if you never won a lottery ticket so you're never going to win it again so you i'm so unlucky i'm never going to win it but till the time you don't kind of uh, clear up your points of view about what winning or losing is you know you may just one find to see yourself winning a lottery ticket 
not based on the predictable realities. And everywhere you were told what is possible and then you made that significant because some astrologer told you that this is all that is possible. You wouldn't allow yourself to go beyond that. And the whole thing is, I sitting here can tell your, you know, I can, I can predict your past and anybody can. Anybody can predict your past because that's a solid thing. I can predict your present based on your past because that's where we are today. But literally, I can also predict your future because you are basing everything on your past. So you're literally not choosing anything new. So it's easy to predict. But if you're willing to go out of that and not look at any reference points based on uh, how your life has been or what things have been or for people, for you, whatever, if you're willing to change that and change your choice, you know, you can have a different future only then which means 10 second increment where you're not rooting yourself. You're not a tree that you have to be rooted. You're not a, um, a mountain who has to, you know, stay put. What if you could allow yourself to flow and take everything as an experience which is coming your way because you're creating it and you're inviting it. The good, bad, and ugly, everything put together. I know the, the ugly is dark, dark moments not happening. But what can you receive from those darkest moments? What's the beautiful and energy hidden underneath those dark moments? And do you really need those dark moments? Or you want to justify how you're a victim of your choices so that you can again have a predictable reality? Everything that is, can you let that go now? Yep. So uh, that's the kind of, if there is a question, we can talk, but it's just a little tidbit that I will be talking about every Monday that we can talk about. And what else can we talk about? What else can you bring up and address the energies wherever you're stuck? You can ask questions, you can be, and sometimes it, they, they, it doesn't have to be very... Uh, it just could be fun also, okay? It doesn't have to be always knowledge-based thing. So that's what Mondays are going to be about. 20 minutes and we are done. We don't need to talk too much, right? So and probably, now there are so many tools, it becomes confusing which one to use. So I just go energetically with the one that comes to me. Yo, that, that's how it is. You, you're trying to say there are too many... Uh, too many spoons in the kitchen. I don't know which one to use. <laughs> ah. I had different size of spoons. I mean, I like this one today. Okay, fine. Let me use it today. And everyone out here knows how to go into the kitchen and cook something, right? So unless you're saying I just have one tool and one spoon and I just you keep using the same and that also works, right? Your food is made even with one one thing, you know, one, what do you call what do you call a uh, spatula? Okay. Hmm? Little, yeah. Little karchi. Little, little karchi, yeah. yeah. That's what so, I did during lockdown. I would use one thing. So I didn't have to use wash so many buttons. But so. you you got to got away with it, but you could cook it in one bowl or one thing and one bowl that I can eat, keep eating. No, you'll wash it, I'm sure. You'll wash it and you reuse it. But yeah. So what I'm saying is you have a it's up to you which tool. You Everywhere you love to allow yourself to get confused which one to use. No, so is it okay to jump from tool to tool or after one tool seems to... No, if, if one tool is not working, for example, something, I mean, you need to uh, deep fry something. You need a different one, a different uh, lady, right? And can you allow yourself to be there? Okay, right now, it's I'm so fried that I need to be taken out of that. Maybe some other tool is required, right? What if you did not have to make it significant is all I'm saying. If one tool is working for you and continuously working for you, could you just simply keep using it rather than comparing yourself with somebody else? That, oh, they're using a better tool than I am. No, it's working for you, right? Continue using that. So, yeah.
Yes, Mr. V or Miss V, whatever. V wants to ask a question. You want to write it down? You want to ask? Hi, Kavita Ji. Hi, Vanita. Yeah, Vanita. Vanita, yes. yes Adi, uh, how can we break some patterns like uh, bar bar repeatedly ho ra ho wo cheez hamare saath? Jagay aap change What do you love ho? about what do you love about your pattern? What do you I love about your pattern? And all I the don't love it, like you love it. That's why it's there. Had you not loved it, you would have gone. Anything that you hate will leave you. Anything you love will stay with you. Remember that. So, what do you love about your predictable pattern? So that you can always say, "I'm I'm like this only." You know? Okay, fine. Then acknowledge it and do a lot of sixes because what PTSD is still there. Because as I said, I started off the call with that. There are a lot of times we invite a boyfriend. We think there is going to be a different one, but a new bottle with an old champagne. And you're like, oh, this seems familiar. So what familiarity are you searching for in the patterns that you are creating? Can you stop your being, you know, can you, can you look at something brand new, which you're like, oh my God, this is scary. I don't know how it's going to be. So I'd rather be with a pattern. Bullshit. You don't have to. It's a predictable reality that you're getting attracted to. So how can we change it now? There is no how. <laughs> I can't tell you how to shit. You see what, how you would like to shit. You want to sit the Indian style? Or you want to do it on a pot? It's totally your call, baby. I can't teach you. I mean, there's no how. You're trying to make it logical. There is no logic to it. Okay, I am. this is what I'm creating. I choose to change it and make a demand of yourself. That, okay, I am going to change this. How many number of bars do I need? Okay, how many processes do I need to run? And just don't hesitate to give it to yourself, please. How many clearing uh, do I need to do? How much more do I need to do this? And what will it take for me to be in allowance of my own patterns and not judge myself for that? Okay, thank you. The, because the minute you go into the how, you, you're going to kill it. Stop asking for the how. Because how is, again, how you can control the universe for things to show up. Why and how? Uh, not so great. What can I do now? What is this? What can I do with this? Can I change it? If so, how can I change it? Can change anything in your life. Okay. Who do I need to go to? What sessions? Maybe apart from access, what other sessions can I be doing? What is going to be light for me today? Just play with it. Do whatever the fuck it takes, but you change it because you're demanding it. Mm. And nobody can give you a recipe. If they are, that means you're limiting yourself and diminishing yourself because you think they know better than you. Nobody does. Only you know better than you for you. Mm. So tr start trusting yourself. Yes. Yeah. So if you start trusting yourself, you would not require a predictable reality. You would know in any space or any condition you will be able to create. Any circumstance comes at you and you know you'll be out -created. You will be able to outcreate it. It's all about trust. So let's talk about self-sabotage in the on next Monday. Thank you so much, people, for being there. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. For thank you time. for receiving this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Get the recording. Yes. Bye. Bye.